Hello, my name is Lynn. Welcome to my channel New Renaissance. Join me in my passion where I bring old furniture back to life. For the project of this week, I want to apply a raised stencil on this dresser. I already painted this dresser in a French linen color from Annie Sloan. I left out the painting process in this video because I just want to focus on applying the raised stencil. I have chosen this beautiful stencil. I am going to apply it on the side of the dresser as well as on the drawer fronts. For the raised stencil I am using this product. This is wood plaster, but in fact you can use any product that sticks to wood, that has a consistency so you can wipe it on and it has to dry rock hard. I like to tape my stencil to the piece of furniture so it stays exactly in the place I want. To put on the plaster you can use a putty knife. Because working straight from the tube isn't that practical, I transferred the paste into a bowl. And then I started smearing the paste out over the entire stencil. I tried to do this as evenly as possible and I really didn't want to rush the process. After each step I clean the stencil with the hose outside. You really don't want to wash it inside because it will cause problems with your plumbing. While the raised stencil on both sides of the dresser was drying, I started with the drawer fronts. Once the paste on the side of the dresser was dry, I could tape the stencil back on again to continue on the bottom part. So here is the result after everything was dry. I really like the 3D effect you get using this technique. It gives extra texture to your piece. Before I continued with my next steps, I sanded the complete raised stencil. I wiped off all the sanding dust.
and then I painted over the raised stencil in the exact same color as my base coat. After some minor touch-ups here and there, I started off with the next step, using Old White from Annie Sloan. I used the dry brushing technique to paint this beautiful white color on the raised stencil and the rest of the piece of furniture. For the dry brushing technique I always take just a little bit of paint and then I unload my brush on a piece of cardboard. I don't use any pressure at all while I'm using the dry brushing technique. I just want to create highlights using this technique. I want the paint to only stick on the higher parts of the raised stencil and not on the lower parts. So here is a close-up of the effect you get while using the dry brushing technique. When too much of the highlight color is left on the piece, like you see here on top of the side of the dresser, it's not a problem at all. You can always correct your mistake by going over it again in your base coat and then repeating the dry brushing technique with the old white. I'm doing some extra touch-ups in the base coat color on the front of the dresser. I just keep going back and forth with the base coat color and with the highlight color as much as I want and until I am happy with the result. I 
I protected the piece with Annie Sloan's clear wax. Once I was done waxing the piece, I wiped off everything using a lint-free cloth. I sprayed the original hardware in a black color and applied it again. And we're done! So here's just a quick reminder of how this dresser used to look like. And here's how it looks now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon.